Hello, and welcome. In today's modern world, science plays a very important part in our lives. We use scientific inventions every day. Although science is generally helpful, it opens doors to dangerous realms of disaster. With the technology to create the hydrogen bomb, humans have attained the ability to destroy our world. There are terrible, unintended side effects to these scientific advancements. Although they are rare, zombie epidemics are a serious threat to all the human race. By being well informed on the standard safety procedure for an event like this, one should have a much better chance of survival. I'm Frank McFrank, and this is... In this video, we will show you the best course of action to take if ever you find yourself in the middle of a zombie attack. Let's begin. As soon as you learn that there is a zombie situation, you should try to stay away from other people. Anyone could be a zombie. They may look like normal people, but if you get too close, they will try to attack. Keeping this in mind, you should try to find shelter in some contained space. It is not advised to take refuge in your car, because they are not zombie-proof. Then as soon as you run out of gas, you will be at the mercy of the dead. The nearest building is the best place to hide in. Don't worry about breaking and entering. After all, this is your life at stake. Once you find a suitable shelter, immediately begin to seal it up. Lock all the doors, and close all the windows. Proceed to take everything you can move, and nail it up over any openings that need fortification. Dismantle furniture if necessary, and use it to block the entrances. Do not, under any circumstances, remove these barriers, as any attempt to escape will likely be a failure. Now that your refuge is secure, you may wish to search the place for any things that may be of help. In particular, look for firearms and flammable substances. These items will help you defend yourself if need be. If the phone doesn't work, which during an invasion of the dead is most often the case, try to find a television or radio. Keeping informed on the local situation is a good idea, and you may receive helpful advice on further steps to take. Even though you have reinforced all the building's openings, it is still a good idea to keep your distance. Crafty zombies may try to penetrate your defenses, so you must constantly be on guard. If you find that the zombies are getting too close and comfortable around your building, you may wish to scare them off a bit. Generally, the dead are afraid of fire. You can attempt to throw Molotov cocktails into their numbers to thin them out. Burning furniture in front of the building is also a good deterrent. Always remember to exercise the utmost caution when handling fire and flammable substances. Humans are just as susceptible to the flames as the zombies are, and the last thing you want to do is burn down your shelter. In the event that you are confronted face to face with a zombie and are forced into combat, there are several things to be aware of. Because they are already dead, they are relatively immune to most physical attacks. Studies have shown that they can be stabbed, shot, and even dismembered without going down. Torches will surely keep the dead at bay. One technique, however, seems to work with excellent efficiency. Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot him in the head. That's a sure way to kill him. Remember to dispose of the bodies by burning them as well. If someone in your group is bitten by a zombie, it is only a matter of time before they become one themselves. It is in the best interest of everyone living that any bitten victims are put in quarantine and watched. Do not let them out of your sight, because they will become very dangerous as soon as they die. Be ready to finish them off when they come back to life. Your shelter should have a backup retreat, an extra secure room, in case the dead are able to bypass your primary defenses. You should be able to wait things out here until reinforcements arrive to rescue you. When the authorities show up, you must not let your guard down. They will be killing zombies and have no way to know that you are not one of them. Alert them of your presence by calling out, 
and do not go anywhere near them until they know that you are alive. Failure to follow these directions will put your life in jeopardy. Being with other people in the event of an undead attack can be a great advantage if you follow these simple rules. Cooperate with other people. Fighting among yourselves in such dire circumstances will only hurt you in the end. Stick together. The moment a group splits up, they weaken themselves considerably. Stay calm and be rational. You're no good to anyone if you can't keep yourself together. Well, that's all there is to it. If you follow our every direction, there is an excellent chance that you will survive unscathed through a zombie epidemic. Of course, we're not guaranteeing anything. I'm Frank McFrank. Thank you for your time.